Overclocking television, Mark Bayer reporting from CBIT. We're here at CBIT at MSI, and we've invited a special guest today, Massman. We're here with the X Power board from the Big Bang series at MSI. First, can you please introduce the board a bit? Uh, X Power is the latest uh, Big Bang series, and uh, we already made two Big Bang motherboard, Big Bang Fusion and the Big Bang Trinity, and they are based on the S uh, P55 chipset. And the latest Big Bang S Power is based on the S58 chipset. So it's a new high-end gaming motherboard and based on the new high-end uh, chipset. And uh, this we in implement very special feature on S Big Bang S Power. For example, uh, 16 phase Dr. Moss over here, and uh, we use two A pin power to supply the power to the CPU, so it can improve overclocking. And also, we have uh, six PCIe by 16 lens, so you can plug uh, up to six graphics card on the S, uh, Big Bang S Power. Also, we have additional six pin over here, and uh, you can provide additional power to the graphics card. And so this board is for gaming and overclocking. It's very high end, and uh, it's very special. Thank you. As everyone knows from the viewers, there's a possibility of mudding the board in order to prevent the cold boot bug and the cold bug. Additionally, we'd like to go into the deep of the need for the power consumption if it's required with two 8-pins. Massman, can you give your point of view? Um, I think with the upcoming Gulf Town, uh, definitely the, the power supply will be one of the vital parts of the main board and as well the power supply unit in, for the system. So. Um, I cannot tell if it works, but I hope it works. Uh, and if it can yield me 200, 300 extra megahertz on the CPU, then I'm fine with it. Then, then it's okay for me, yeah. So it's definitely useful for the user who use liquid nitrogen and so on for cooling the system and going for the maximum clocks. Yeah, I, I hope it. I hope it will work. Yeah, I can never. Um, I can can't predict anything about a product you tell because I haven't tested it yet. But as far as I, uh, as far as I've heard, um, the the, the power supply of the main board uh, is quite vital for Gulftown. That leads me to the other question for MSI. At the MSI labs, when you were developing the card, did you experience any difference between using a 6 and an 8-pin in addition for the processor? Maybe. You mean the, the dual 8-pin or 6-pin? Yes. OK. Uh, in our experience, um, uh, overclocking need more power to the CPU or the GPU, and uh, we don't want to make the, the, the power become a limit of overclocking. So we just uh, provide the overclock the additional power, so they won't face the limit of the power supply. And the, 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 the power supply can just provide more power to the CPU through the, this additional A pin. Thank you. That's all for now. Over and out from CBIT. Bye.